Hi guys, and welcome to class three of automating emails for your wellness advocate business in doTERRA. And so if you have not watched class one and two, be sure to go back and watch those classes before you watch this one, okay? So now we are actually at the point where we are going to put together our email automation. And so what I have in front of here for you guys is eight emails that will be sent out over the course of 14 days. Now, um, 14 days, basically two weeks, that's about the time um, that, you know, there's about a week it takes for your new customers to get their oils uh, and start using them. So you want to give them some resources and information ahead of time. Then once they have the oils, you wanna make sure they have the tools to get started with them. And then of course you wanna make sure you're giving them their wellness consultation and um, getting them signed up on loyalty rewards and they know all of the good information like product of the month and things like that. So these emails are basically that information laid out for a new customer so they can have um, the best success in getting started with their doTERRA order. And so let me just walk you through um, what I've set up here. And so you'll see right here, it says uh, email day one, then we have our subject line. Then the last part is the actual email. Any place that there is kind of brackets and it's red, this is set up this way so that you can replace it with your specific information. So just be, a, be careful of that when you copy and paste these in um, as I show you as we go along, <clears throat> that you make sure anywhere that it's that it has this, uh, these red brackets that you replace it with your information, okay? And of course, you're welcome to go through and edit or change these emails to make them personal to you, um, add more to them or what you feel is necessary. Uh, I laid them out in a way where really they can be used um, for anyone and in any country with just a few tweaks to them, okay? All right, so this is day one email. We're gonna welcome the doTERRA. We're gonna welcome the person to um, your doTERRA family and you're gonna let them know what to expect, that it might take um, a week or so for their order to arrive and that over the next 14 days, you're gonna email them helpful resources, oil education and tips, and to look out for your emails and be sure to, um, to read each one. You're also gonna invite them to your Facebook group um, so they can get more oil support. And then if you have your own personal social media links, make sure you connect um, with your customer on social media. So that's the first email. The second email set is, uh, the subject line is recommended doTERRA resources for you. And what this is, is basically pointing them to where they can get a lot more information about like recipes, DIY, science information. I mean, empower them to go out and do the research and get excited about how to use their oils on their own. So what I really love is doTERRA's lifestyle blog, um, doTERRA's science blog, and then of course I have doTERRA's social media links down here as well. So you can um, change these links to be the, you know, point to the area that you want um, them to get the information from. Of course, the links that are default in this are US links. So if you're in another country, just be sure to replace them with your country's links. And where these came from is basically if you go to doTERRA.com, um, up at the top in your country, you'll have this area, this um, section called discover. And under discover, you'll see the blog section. So here's like the blog lifestyle um, or blog science. So you, you might have various links and different things that are in your, in your country. So this is just where you go and see what is there and figure out what links you might want to um, point people to. So that's uh, email number two. Okay, now, so this is day one and then day two, and then we're gonna give it a little bit of time. And then on day five, we're basically gonna say, you know, getting started with your oils. And we're gonna give them three steps to get started with their oils. And one is simply, uh, you know, opening up your box, taking out your oils, actually putting them on the countertop in a place that you see them so you actually use them. Step two is, is telling them to reopen up the A to Z guide. Um, also, we're going to point them to this, uh, this PDF, which is 100 uses for essential oils. 
Of course, again, this is United States. So if you want to replace it with, um, with your country's PDF, or maybe you have your own specific one, um, you know, ch just edit this a little bit to be what's specific to you if, the, the, if this doesn't apply. Now, of course, if you're following um, the back to basics with Elise, then, you know, the person should already have an A to Z guide from you of some sort, okay? And then, of course, step three is to be sure to use a product. Um, invite them to try something new every single day. And then these bullet points are just some, some suggested ways of they can use them. They're really super common ways. So like the number one, the first one right here is just saying, add two to four drops of essential oils to your diffuser um, and start diffusing, right? Like, it, I mean, it sounds so simple. You think they would do it, but <laughs> you'd be surprised. A lot of people, they get their order. It sits, you know, they, it, it sits by their front door or they put it in a cabinet or it, it just like, they don't get to it. So just telling them exactly what to do really helps people just kind of break the ice. So they actually open up their, their box and get started. Uh, it, uh, another advice would be like putting a drop in your water, a citrus in your water, uh, make an all purpose cleaner. Maybe put some of the oils on the bottom of your feet before bed, rub deep blue um, on your neck for discomfort, start taking your lifelong vitality. Um, and every oil that I, that's mentioned in this email are ones that are the common oils in all of the enrollment kits. Um, and again, feel free to edit or change this depending on the country you're in. So if there is a particular product that's named something different or you don't have this product in your country, then just remove that line, okay? All right, the next, then on day seven, um, and so now they're all set once they get their oils that they should, you know, to get started with them, right? Now on day seven, um, they should already have their oils. If not, it's fine, you know, they know they're coming and they're still getting this information. And so this one is gonna say, now that you have your, toy, your, your oils, it's time for us to get together to do a doTERRA membership overview. Now I'm calling it a doTERRA membership overview instead of a wellness consultation, because I feel sometimes the word wellness consultation doesn't really resonate with people. They don't really get what that means, but they signed up for a doTERRA membership. And so I feel like that just resonates with it. And so that's, that's the term that I like to use when, um, when trying to book a, a time with somebody. And so this is telling them like, hey, it, you know, let's book a membership overview. Are you available tomorrow or the next day, right? So you don't have to go chasing people down. Um, of course, you might still have to chase people down because it's good for you to like ask them a couple different ways. So if they don't respond to this email, you might send them a text message, et cetera. But now they have it in this, in this um, format as well. So, cause sometimes it takes a couple times before you can get somebody um, to, uh, to see you. All right, so on day nine, we're gonna talk about continuing education uh, continuing education oil classes and free and the free gift, which is basically if you complete all eight classes, then you're going to offer a free gift um, to your customers for doing so, right? And, and that follows the um, back to basics protocol as well. And so this is going to talk about that oil class and we're going to provide a link to where they can sign up for those oil classes and get started. On day 11, we're just going to check in with them. We're going to say, hey, um, just wanted to check in with you. Did you, um, were you able to schedule that membership overview with me? Uh, are you free tomorrow, right? So we're doing like a little bit of follow-up in this email and then also letting them know if you haven't signed up for the continuing education classes, uh, go ahead and sign up for those. Here's that link again to do so. Everybody needs reminders. So it's great to just have this particular email in there um, since those are two action items you were asking of them to do. And perhaps when we originally send it on day nine, they hadn't got their oils yet, so they didn't take some kind of action in case there was a delay in shipping or something. Now we're reminding them again. Okay, now um, we're well into it. We're on day 13 after they've signed up. And so now we're gonna talk to them about loyalty rewards. Um, we're gonna say, you know, save big on your next order. And we're basically gonna explain how you know, when they were at the class, we talked about the three ways that they can purchase oils. And uh, here's how they can make sure that they are getting the oils for 30 to 55% below retail, as opposed to just the wholesale price, which is 25% off retail by, um, by earning points back through the loyalty program. And then we have a link in here that also has like a video that explains um, 
it's a really great page that explains the loyalty rewards program to a T. And so you're giving them this reference and you're asking them to watch the two minute video and then saying, hey, just let me know if you need help setting up your loyalty order for next month. Um, of course, we're going to go over this with them in their membership overview when we meet with them, but it's also good to have this information, of course, in an email or maybe um, you haven't met with them. You know, people need to see things like I said a couple of times, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, and so then on day 14, um, get the free product of the month. So this email just explains all about, um, basically I said, you know, ye yesterday we, we talked about loyalty rewards program. Um, now I'd love to explain how you can get a free product every single month. And so this explains the free product of the month, aka POM, and um, how you can get it. And so that concludes the email series. So you can see that over 14 days, they're getting all that crucial, essential information they need um, as a new customer. And um, this is going to save you so much time and it's allow you to serve your customer in an excellent way. So now let me show you how to log into your active campaign account and set this up so that all you have to do is once they become a new member, you take their email, put it into active campaign, and then automatically they're going to get these e eight emails over the 14 days and spread out um, to the day that's specified in this uh, Word document here. Okay. Uh, isn't that exciting? <laughs> All right. So we're going to go to active campaign. Um, we're going to log in, right? You should have an account by now. If, uh, if you don't, then go back to um, the second class where it shows you how to get an account and log in. Uh, and then, so we're gonna go to this section called automations and we're gonna create a new automation. All right, so to create a new automation, I'm just gonna come up to the top right and click the button, create an automation. And I'm going to um, start from scratch and hit continue. Seems to be a little slow today, so bear with me here. All right. So the first thing it's gonna ask you for is to add a start trigger. So basically this is a rule that's saying what's gonna initiate this, um, this automation so that it gets sent out to a specific email. And what we wanna select is subscribes to a list and hit continue. And then uh, here we wanna select the list. Remember in the uh, second class, we created this list called the wholesale customers, right? So we're gonna select that list and we're gonna make the automation just run once. We don't want them to get this information more than once, just once when we have a new customer, we want these emails to be sent to them. Then we're gonna click add to start. Now, um, now the next thing we wanna do is we want to, it says add a new action. So once they're added to the email list, we want that first email to trigger right away right? Like immediately sent to them. So we're gonna, now we're going to send an email. And so you hear it says, send an email. You do not have any emails to send. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an email. So we're going to give um, the email a name. So if you go to the Word document, pretty much you're going to be able to just copy and paste this over. It's good to just name the email the same as the subject line um, because that will be the easiest way to reference it back. So see, I just copied the subject line um, and I am gonna hit create. Now this might look familiar to you as I showed you how to create a campaign in the class too. And so what I can do is actually go to um, past campaigns and I can, actually what we'll do is let's, cause since you're new, we'll go to templates and then what we want to do is just use like a very simple, simple template. So I see, let's see here. See, this one's just like text in it. So maybe I'll use this one. I'll hit select. And I'm going to copy that subject line again. And hit continue.
Okay, so I can see that this is like a pretty um, <clears throat> simple email in here. And that's perfect. I think I, I can start um, writing my email out, right? So I can, I can come here and I can essentially just uh, copy the email. See how easy this is? <laughs> and then I'm going to paste it into there, all right? And so you see where there's, there's these percent signs? The percent signs is actually triggering um, a personal, it, it's basically like a, a placeholder where it's gonna actually take the first name of the particular contact and put it in there. So the other way that you can add these is basically by going up to here where it says personalize and clicking on first name. And you see how now it adds that in there. <clears throat> and then I'm just gonna come down here. I'm gonna make it so I want it you know, the email spaced out the way I want it, make it kind of um, pretty. And then here it says, uh, insert your, your team Facebook links. You know, I'm gonna go to, um, I'm gonna go to Facebook. And I'm just giving you guys an example. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the link to my group and I'm gonna put it in here, right? Uh, I'm not gonna actually go to my group right now, just for the interest of time. But you can just see, I'm gonna put my, my links in there, okay? And then I want to have a nice subject line. So um, wh whatever you like to end your email with, maybe best wishes, Malika Lacey, wellness advocate, And I can put, you know, I can put um, my web, my website down here if I want. Actually, let me do that. Go to malikalacy.com. I grab my website URL, um, put it down here in the subject line for people to find me there. Um, of course, you can make your subject your um, uh, what, what is it your your signature down here. You can make it what you want, right? But here's we just want to keep this email super super simple we don't want to go too crazy with it now if you put in um a web address like this where it says https and it's like the full url this will actually automatically change into a link when you send the email however if you want to create the link you can just copy it click on this little um chain link fence put it in and you can create the link this way if you wish to do so, okay? All right, so now I've created my first email. The stuff that's down here, um, basically want to, this is gonna um, stay here. This is automatically put in here so that like by, by compliance, you need to have uh, an unsubscribe when you send out mass emails to, to people or if you use an, an email manager. And then this is saying sent sent to, and then there's a, a particular email address down here. So you'll see when we go into preview preview mode like that, that when we send out a test, you'll see that that will change. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit next. And I'm just going to double check everything is the way that I want it to be. So my subject line says, welcome to the doTERRA family. Um, and I can <clears throat> take it like the first line of the uh, of the email, and I can I can create a, a pre header. Which is I'm so excited for you to receive your first order. Also, I'm going to um, change this to hello at malikalacy.com. In the second class, I, I explained about why we want would want to do that, and perfect. So now, actually, let let me send a test to myself of that particular email, and then I can go here and open up that test email and see what it looks like. So now I can make sure it. Um, it's how I want it to be. So you see how down here it actually changed that to 
the email address. So it'll actually set, send, it'll change it to the email address of the person that it's being sent to. Um, and it's gonna default have the footer information that I set up in my settings. So if, uh, if you want a different address down here than the one that's showing, then go back to you know, your active campaign in your settings to, to change that. And so now you, at least you know what it looks like. And you wanna keep your emails um, fairly simple. You want them to look like emails that just got like sent directly to you. So in fact, when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing that the email um, is kind of like in the middle of the page. And I'm not sure if I like, like that so much. Um, and so I think what I'm doing is I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna put a line left like this so that it looks more like an email um, that like someone just opened up an email campaign and wrote it, right? And um, so let me send myself another test so I can look at it real quickly, make sure it's um, how I want it to, to look. So now you see it's kind of like on the left-hand side. I like that a lot, a lot better. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And you see it says, hi guest. This is uh, sending a test email. So if you don't have someone's first name in there, it's going to default to guest. You can change this to say something, something else if you like, instead of saying guest, which I recommend doing. Um, but if you are just to make sure that you always put the person's first name and last name with their email address in it, then that, that is my suggestion so that you can actually address people by their first name. And that's the best practice. And since they enrolled with you and they're new customers, you should have the first and last name. So make sure that you fill out that field um, so it doesn't say hi guest, it actually says their first name. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now I'm gonna click next. And, um, and now I'm going to finish. And then I'll come up like this and I want to make sure I click save. So now I'm back in the, um, the automation tool and you'll see there's like this little graphic that's starting to be created. And this is the flow of showing, it's showing the flow of my automation. So first, um, a new person is, subscri is subscribed to the list, wholesale customer. Then they're going to be sent this email, welcome to our doTERRA family. Now I want, um, Tomorrow, I want them, the next day, I want them to get the next email, right? I don't want all the emails to be sent out right away. So what I'm gonna do is um, click on this little plus button, and that's gonna bring up different actions and rules that I can set. I'm gonna come over to conditions, and I'm gonna click on wait, and I'm gonna put in wait for a specific period of time, and this is saying wait for one day. And so now I'm gonna hit save. So whenever, whatever time I put that person's email address in is that's what it's going to use as the first timestamp. So it's a, it's going to send this email right away and then they're going to be basically waiting exactly 24 hours from when they first got an, um, put into the subscriber list for that next email to be sent out. So it's going to wait a day and now I want another email to be sent to them. So I'm going to come back up here and go to sending options, send an email. I'm gonna create a new email. Again, I'm gonna go over to my Word document. I'm going to copy the subject line to name it so it's easy for me to reference back to it. And now that I've created that initial email that I'm really happy with, I can click over to past campaigns and I can, and I can select that exact same one. See, it says, welcome to our doTERRA family. I can select this one, paste my um, paste the subject line in there, hit continue, and now see it's the exact same email as the welcome email, and so now I can come over here, copy and paste the um, the content of the next email and overwrite what I have here, paste it in there. Of course, let me format it, space it out how I want it to. 
Uh, when I see these brackets, I need to either change the, the URL or delete them. So I'm just gonna format my email how I want it, just like that. So now it's saying, hi, first name, I wanna share some really great resources with you. And I have my links in there. Um, and, I, and I'm gonna keep my signature exactly the same on all my emails. But if you wanted to change like maybe best wishes to something else, if you like to switch it up or if there's something that you particularly like, um, or if you like to switch it up, <laughs> then go ahead and do that. Right. Okay. That looks good. And of course I can, I can come here to the little bracket. I can send myself a test. I can make sure that all the settings are like I want them. Uh, I'm going to create that pre header text and I'm just going to, I'm just gonna take this kind of this first sentence here and I'm gonna put it into that pre-header text because some email, um, email clients really like to have that in there. I'm gonna close, I'm gonna hit next. And you just wanna make sure everything looks good. You know, if you haven't sent yourself a test, send yourself a test, look at it, make sure the email looks how you want it to look. Click on the links, make sure the links go to where you want the links to go. Um, for example, you know, we sent this test earlier and I have, you know, a Facebook link in there. I'm going to click on it and make sure it goes to exactly where I want it to go to in Facebook. And then if everything looks good, I'm going to finish. And then I'm going to click save. And now I'm back here and you can see my email automation is starting to come together. Now I'm going to come back here and go to the next email, which basically says this one's going to go on day five, which means there's three days between day two and day five between the next email. So I'm going to go back to my automation. I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to conditions and workflow, click on wait, wait for a specific period of time change that to three since um, five minus two is three. So I'm just waiting three days. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to send the next email out. So then I'm going to come back up here to send options, send a new email, create a new email. And then uh, essentially I'm just, I'm just repeating it by, um, by copying and pasting the information in. So I'm just gonna go, try to go like a little bit faster here. I'm not gonna go through all 14 emails because you guys understand how to set this up now. So I'm just gonna talk to you in a minute about what to do in, at the end. So okay, again, I'm gonna come over to past emails. I can select the last email that I set up so that it has my subject line in the format exactly like the first one got set up. So that's gonna send, save me time as I'm moving through and creating this automation. Again, I'm gonna copy copy it out of the Word document, come over here, paste it in there, and then I'm just gonna come through and kind of format it like I want it to, make sure that I replace any of my bracket URLs um, that are in there. And so like here's kind of like some, um, some bullet points. I don't really like how that's formatted, so I'm gonna Kind of remove those bullet points there. And I'm going to use this tool to um, format bullet points. I'm just going to select it. And then um, right here where it says more options, it's going to give me more options. And here's where my um, bullet points are. And so now see that looks much better from before. I think I might put a space there. Okay, so I like the way that that looks. Now I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna select this, the first sentence of it. I'm gonna add that to my pretext header. I'm gonna send myself a test. I'm gonna go over to my email. I'm gonna look at it um, in the test and make sure it looks how I want it to look. Um, so I'm gonna close that. I'm gonna hit next. Finish. Save. 
you see how this is really coming starting to come together right so on day one i add the person's email address to the customer list the first email is initiated it waits one day now we're on day two it uh, sends the next email then it waits three days now we're on day five where it's, where it sends the next email now I'm going to look down and I'm going to see from day five now we're going to send one on day seven so I need two days of wait time and then set up my next email so then I'm going to put condition wait specific period of time two days and so I'm going to continue to do that for all eight emails that are in this Word document until I'm down to the last email. Okay, so let's just pretend um, that this is the last email. This is the, the email that gets sent out in 14 days. And so then what I want to do is come here and I, I basically want to like um, end the automation because it's the, I don't want anything else to happen. I don't want them to continue to go. So here under conditions and workflow, there's a little guy that says end this automation. So I'm going to click end this automation. And so now basically this will stop the automation. This triggered the automation and now this stopped the automation. So they're not going to get any more emails um, from this automation. They're done. And so then that basically concludes everything for it. The only last step you need to do to actually make this go live is if you look up all the way um, to the top here, there's a couple of things you need to do. Where it says automation, you need to name your automation. So we're gonna name it new wholesale customer 14 day welcome. Okay, let me save that. And the other thing is that you need to change it from inactive to active. Now, what's very important is for you not to press this active button <laughs> until you've already moved over your list of existing customers. So under list, wholesale customers, Remember in, in class two, we created this list and then we added this, um, this fake person. I showed you how to add a person. And, and so here's the deal. If you already have customers, you're gonna wanna add your list of customers into this list, okay? So you can add them individually like I showed you in the first one, or you can import them if you wanna import a bunch all at once. Click import and use this, especially if you're migrating from a different email tool that you might have used in the past. So if you're using something like Constant Contact or MailChimp or, I mean, there's a bunch of them out there, just log into that account, go to where your list is, export it, and then um, and it'll export a file and then import the file here and it'll import everybody at once. And you wanna make sure you do that before you turn on that automation because once you turn on that automation every time you add a new person to the list they're going to get put through that automation now we don't want customers from the past to get that automation because it's very specific to um, a new customer right like and so so now you'll see i already have jane doe in here and i don't want her to go through that automation so um so make sure you put your list of people in there first so now i'm going to go back to the automation I'm going to make sure everything's set up. I have all my existing people in that list so that they don't accidentally get the, get the automation. And then I'm going to um, activate it. Okay, so now it's active, it's running. And the last thing you want to do is actually test to make sure that this is on and it's working. So let's come over to the list. And I'm going to come over to the wholesale customer list. And we see that Jane Doe's in there. I'm gonna click on Jane Doe. And, um, and you'll see, she's part of the wholesale customer list, but she's not part of the automation. You see that it didn't automatically put her into the automation, okay? So that's what I wanted to show you, that's very important. But now, if I add a new person to the list, they're gonna get, they're gonna go through that automation because I just turned that automation on and that is the trigger to start it. So let me um, put a new person in there. 
and um, we'll call him uh, John at JohnDoe.com. <laughs> so John Doe. Hopefully that's not someone's real email. I, I mean, I highly doubt it. Okay, so I'm gonna put, <laughs> put his uh, email address in and I'm, I'm going to add him to the email list. So I'm gonna select um, wholesale customer and hit apply, right? Now I'm just gonna refresh my screen And you'll see now I have two people added to the list. And if I click on John Doe, you'll see that, see under automation, he's in that automation right here, okay? You see it says it's 29%. It's saying 29% because I only put three emails in there. Um, and you'll see that recent activity, a few seconds ago, he entered this automation. Let's see if I refresh what we'll see. I'm thinking I'm gonna see a bounced email, but we'll see what it says. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> see, it says bounce from list. That's because it's not a real email. Um, it's a fake email. But basically, uh, if it was a real email, you wouldn't see bounce from list. You would just see um, campaign sent. And this first campaign gets sent. And then you'd see when he opened it and if he clicked on anything. Um, so now let's actually go over. Um, let's edit the automation. Go to the automation here. There's lots of ways to navigate um, through this to get to the same, same place. And so here's my automation and you see that um, the one Q, that's, the, that's John Doe. So see, he, got, he came in, got added to the list, first email got sent out, and now he's in this first Q. So if you had several people you added in the same time, then you'll see that there's, there's three people that are at this particular step in your automation. So you can kind of see the flow of, um, of people as they're going through this as well. And um, the other thing you can view is if I go to reports and I click on, so actually it's, it's not, uh, the report for that is not in here yet, uh, but it, it will, I, let me see here, let me go to all automations, maybe it's under here. Because we just sent out that one thing, so. <clears throat> Okay, yeah. So, um, so it, it, it would show up here, basically, um, that particular automation, and you'd be able to look and see like what was going on as far as like the statistics and reports and things like that. Um, let me come back this way. Um, if I go to, all right, here's the automation that we created. I come down here, um, you'll see that there's different options and things like that. But this is another way that you can navigate back to it and make any um, changes or edits, or if you wanna deactivate it because you're adding um, a group of people to the list kind of thing, then you can um, inactivate it. And you see that here I'm back at the automation. So that is pretty much it, okay? Awesome stuff, right? <laughs> and um, so here's what we're going to do is that is your first automation all set up and ready to go. Um, I recommend actually adding yourself after you have it all set up and you click active. I actually recommend having you add yourself. So if you have a secondary email address um, or maybe a spouse's email address, put their contact information in there so you can see it actually run and go through and make sure that it's working properly and you're getting all of the emails and you, and you go through the full sequence to make sure that you set it up correctly. Um, that way, if there's any errors or anything like that, you're the first one to, to receive it and you can go back and make um, any, any edits that you need. So that's pretty much the first automation. Um, I, I hope you guys found this incredibly valuable and this really helps your business save time, serve your customer better. What I'm going to be doing from here on out is I want to enhance 
this e-course and what I offer for it. So um, in the new year of 2021, I'll be adding other automations to go through. So, you know, we talked about, I'm not sure exactly in what order I'm gonna do, but we talked about doing things like, you know, on onboarding a new wellness advocate, doing an oil boot camp, doing some kind of like oil challenge. Um, there's various things that, that you can do and use your active um, campaign account now that you have it. There's so many cool ways that you can use it um, as a tool to um, move your business forward. And so as I get feedback from you guys and I understand what is the next desire that you want, then I will start to create that and add it to this e-course so you guys can also continue to um, use uh, use the templates and the automations that uh, that are there. You can just download them and copy and paste them and create them into your own accounts like I just showed you in this particular video. I feel like I'm talking in circles. <laughs> you guys get it. <laughs> so um, be sure to provide feedback. Let me know what you feel you would really like as the next thing to set up to help you with your business. And I'll be sure to start working on that. Um, for now, just setting up your, your emails in this way. And then also, you know, now that you have it uh, set up, not only for the automation, you're also going to be able to send out your monthly newsletters when it's the first of the month and there's promos, you know, you can, you can have those separate campaigns and you can also email people individually, like I showed you in that first class. Um, so enjoy and i um, really excited to bring you guys um, more for the new year but uh, really glad that I was able to give this to you and I'll talk to you guys soon.